Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video. And today I'm here with a May installment of Crack That Vault Collab, hosted by Poet Spice here on YouTube. I do have Poet Spice's information along with all of the other talented ladies who are participating in this collab. So if you open up the description box, you will find links to all of their channels. It's been really fun to see what everybody has been taking out of their craft stash that they've been hoarding or haven't used in the last six months to see what they are using. And again, that is the premise for the, this collab is to use up items, craft items in our stash that we have not used in six months or longer. And the videos do post live. It is a monthly collab and they do post every third Friday of the month, I believe. But I will have all the information again listed below in the description box so you guys can check that out. And this month I decided to dig out, I, I had one particular, I had a, one particular die I had in mind that I had never used along with a couple other ones. And the one main die that I wanted to use was a bison one because I did want to make my husband a birthday card because it is his birthday month. And then I was also looking at what other dies I had and I came across some wood, what I'm calling wood slice dies, dies that look like wood or pieces of wood. And I did have a set that from Honeybee that I had never used and then I also have the Sizzix one. And I've used that maybe once, it's been a couple of years since I've used it. But here is the one that I did create for my husband and I will show you guys all the supplies I used at the end for those that are interested in that. Um, but I know some of you are just more curious just to look at them and move on to the next video and that's that's wonderful I'm glad you guys are here but for those that do want to know supplies I will post them at the end of the video um, so here's the one I made for my husband and so it does have the wood slice in the background and then the bison or the buffalo some people call them buffalo but they're bison um, cutting die on top of it and this is very specific for my husband he likes bison and he does do a lot of wildlife photography, a bison. And then the wood piece in the background just represents, he does collect petrified wood and rocks. And so this does hopefully, or hopefully it'll remind him of a petrified piece of wood that he has. And then I just added a, just a little bit of extra, extra elements, decorative elements on the outsides of it. And then I did use a cutting die that I'd never used before in my stash that said happy birthday. This one that I think I purchased at a rummage sale um, several, several years ago. And then um, I did talk about in one of my earlier craft or crack the vault um, videos that whenever I can that I'm going to try and make um, whenever I take out cutting dies that I think I can use for Christmas, I'm going to try and throw in some Christmas cards that way when Christmas comes. Next year, I will have cards already made. And so I thought these wood slice die cards would be perfect for, for that. And so I did make Christmas cards. So they're all very similar, just different paper and different sentiments. You know, Merry Christmas some different foliage and as far as the paper goes and the backgrounds these were just single sheets of paper or even leftover scraps from past Christmas cards that I had so some of them I can't even tell you what companies they came from um, but there's that last one that one says Merry Christmas seasons greetings and then the next few cards are a different die cut set that are wood slices um, from honeybee stamps I believe and I'll show you that die at the end, but this one says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, another Happy Holidays. And I know these, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but again, my husband collects petrified wood and we do have a few people that we've grown close to or that we know that also collect petrified wood and some different dealers and people that we buy from. And so I'm thinking I would like to send them a Christmas card this upcoming year and so this is kind of more geared for them to have some like wood slice type cards to make them kind of look like um you know slices of wood and so now to go through the supplies i'm not going to go through the paper because i don't know on the paper like i said they were all scraps or individual sheets that i had in my christmas paper collection but to go through the cutting dies this first one is um the bison one and it's from impression obsession 
I did pay $15 for it um, from a local craft store. Unfortunately, um, the owner of that store, she, right before, I think around Thanksgiving time or something, she did decide to close shop because the mall that they were in is being closed. And she just did decide to retire her and her husband. But I did purchase this one. It was kind of one of the last orders that they did before they closed their store. Um, she, they did order a bunch of bison um, dyes, mainly because in North Dakota, which is where I grew up, um, the NDSU bison, it's a school, North Dakota State College, um, and they're the bison. And so it was a very popular dye. But So she did order it for everybody that wanted one. Um, before she closed shop but here's the wood slice dies which is kind of you know one of the things that I thought about that I hadn't used in a long time um, so this one is the Sizzix one and it's called tree rings and there's the number and then there also is a coordinating embossing folder that goes with that one which I used here is a set from honeybee and I think they call them wood slices and I'll just show it to you on the back Backside, and I ended up using all of them except for these. This is a stump, and that's the piece that goes on top of the stump. But here's all the other little pieces that you saw in the card that I made. So that's kind of the main thing. And then I wanted to show you the cut, the other cutting dies I used. So I did use this happy birthday one right here. I don't have the original packaging, but that is a cheery lin. Um, dye because they had that purple color. Um, I did purchase that one at a thrift store. And then as far as like the pine branches that I use, again, I use some Cherry Lynn ones. These two right here. And I think that's all I used on here was these two. And as far as sentiments, I use some of these from Creative Expressions. And they were by Lisa Horton, and this one was called Stylish Script, Season's Greetings. And then this one also was very similar. Um, I just have the packaging just to show you guys. It was the other one by Lisa Horton, Creative Expressions. And this one was called Christmas Wishes. And again, the other one was Christmas Greetings. So just similar font, but just different sentiments. And I love these Christmas dies. I do use them quite a bit for um, Christmas cards. Thank you again, everybody, so much for watching today. And don't forget to open up the link below to check out everybody else's channel. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.